I am excited for today's video because we are going to continue working on our bitter leaf project. This is the second video in the series. In the first video, I showed you how to get the stems and then get the stems to root in water. And so today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the water that you have your stems growing in um, the frequency with which you should change the water and then we are also going to plant some of the stems that already have roots in um, in ground and I put that in quotes because we are not actually planting that in ground but we'll put them in in bags which is what this video is about so guys here are our bitter leaf cuttings in water about 10 days later. As you can see, we're starting to form root, roots. The little bubbles that you see, roots are gonna come out of there. In fact, this one right here, we have root already forming. This is 10 days later, okay? So what I'm about to do now is change the water, which you should do every two to three days. So three times a week, you can do a schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, or something like Sunday, um, Tuesday, and Thursday, something like that. So every two to three days, you empty out the water and then fill it up with fresh room temperature water. So we need fresh room temperature water every two to three days. Let me show you how you do it. Get out the dirty water and then just fill it up with room temperature water. Want to bring it up to about the same level like so okay okie dokie we have fresh water in here and you're gonna repeat this process until the roots form and they are about one to two inches long when you have the root ball clusters about one to two inches long then we're gonna transfer the stem in ground which is the very next step. All right, guys. So let me share with you what you need for, for this part of the project. We already have some of the stems, some of the bitter leaf stems that have produced roots. As you can see, these are about two months old right now. So it's about time for me to put this in soil because uh, we need nutrients at this point, okay? I have my garden shears right here. Again, it's clean. Always make sure you clean it and then wipe it dry before you save it. So I'm going to use that. I'll show you how. I have a jar with water. I'm going to show you how I use it here in a second. And then this is where I'm going to plant my bitter leaves. In these bags. Okay, these are nursery bags. I got them from Amazon. You see the holes? They have holes in them. So I'm gonna put soil or potting soil in here and then plant the stems inside. I have soil here. This is potting soil. You wanna make sure it says potting mix. This is very important. Don't get like in ground soil and stuff. This is specially formulated potting mix soil for growing things in containers. So make sure you get one that says potting mix on the label. Okay, this is important. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It's very light. It has nutrients in there. It is formulated to retain moisture and also to let water through so you don't have um, your plants being waterlogged. So that potting mix is 
extremely important. I'll say that again. It has to say pudding mix. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this right here to fill up the bags just like so. is enough and then I'm gonna sit it in this little container right here all right so I'll fill up the rest of the bags and then I'll be right back all right guys I'm done filling up the bags as you can see so I have a total of 12 bags filled with my potting mix soil the next step is to water All right, so I'm done watering the potting mix soil. The next step will be to plant the rooted stems in here. So I'm gonna try not to disturb the roots as much as I can. And I'm gonna do that by using another stick here to just make a hole. the hole is deep enough to cover this part of the stem okay so we want to cover all of this in the hole here let me show you see how deep that hole is okay just gonna make it wider guys we are done planting our bitter leaves it's all in the ground now now I think these stems are too long so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim the stems okay these are way too long for for my liking I'm gonna trim them just like that okay and then I'm gonna put this one in water and hope to get more roots okay I'm just gonna trim them like this just so that if I'm shipping them I can get them to fit in a container okay so some of you have reached out and you're asking me how you can get the stems hopefully I can get some of these out to you in the spring Hopefully I can ship them out to you. Oh. Jesus. Oh, I got it. It's kind of tough. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim all of them. Okay. And then... After trimming them, I'll take them inside because it's quite cold. I'll take them inside and then on days when the weather is decent, I'll bring, I'll bring my box outside. That's why I have it in a container so I can easily carry it in and out of the house. So that's our finished product guys okay and these are some of the cuttings that i took i'm gonna try to see if i can propagate uh, these again i hope this was useful to you guys and as always i'm gonna ask you a favor to subscribe if you haven't done so like the video please guys it's super important that you like the videos